Hey guys, what's up? It's Andy. This video is gonna be about how to plan your day as a sales associate. Okay guys, now remember, people don't plan to fail, they fail to plan. Every single day I see salespeople that go into work, they think they're gonna have a big day, but what happens is they don't have anything planned out. So they end up failing miserably, they don't hit their goals. Today, I'm gonna show you how to hit those goals and how to time block and manage your day as a top sales associate. Okay guys, first things first, let's talk about attitude and motivation right here. These two things are extremely important. I see a lot of people go in and they're trying to do the work, they wanna have a big day, but you miss this little attitude check and motivation. Being driven is everything. If you take care of these two things, the rest of the day will flow nicely. Our job is to go outside and have relationships with every person that we meet. It's really easy. If people like you, they'll listen to you. If they believe you, they'll buy from you. It'll never change. How could any of that happen without motivation from you and then a great attitude for the customer? It can't. So what I wanna tell you to do is if you wanna have an amazing day, the first thing you do is increase your attitude and make sure that you're very driven and you have a lot of motivation. That's gonna be the first step. Number two, inventory walk. Look, it's just simple. You guys got leads from the day before, you got leads that are gonna come in today, and you got deals you missed a while back. Inventory is everything. Us as salespeople, we need to know what we have so we can prescribe solutions to our customers. Well, if you don't know what you have, how can you prescribe a certain solution? New trade-ins came in the night before, cars got sold yesterday before you left work and after you left work. Every day, you have to do an inventory walk. If you wanna have a successful day, you have to know what you have. There's a difference between being prepared and truly being prepared as a sales associate. One of the things that I commonly see are sales pros not knowing their inventory. Make sure when you get in, after getting yourself jacked up, having a great attitude, the first thing you do is get a pen and paper, walk outside, walk your inventory. All of your new cars, all of your pre-owned, the trade row, the service department, the parts holding area. Make sure you touch it all. I don't want you to miss one single deal. Time is money. Take the time now to go learn your inventory so that you never miss any future sales. And also, you've got some customers that you probably need to call back. There's a pretty good chance, especially being in your company, that you took a trade in last night that would fit a customer that you have missed in the last week. Walking your inventory is a great way to set up your day to make sure that you don't miss any sales. Okay guys, so here we go, number three, it's gonna be this, it's really simple. Go in, call all your leads after doing your inventory walk, call all your leads. Make sure you let everybody know that you've got new shipments of inventory coming in, you got fresh trade-ins, go through, and I call it a save a deal between you and yourself. Any deals that you might have missed within the last 30 days, maybe even back to 90 days, or maybe somebody who wasn't in the market at that time, go through and play save a deal with yourself. Go through all the customers that you've had on the lot, in every customer that you've had through the phones. After you call all your leads to set your day up, this is normally where most salespeople go and they wait around. Don't wait around. Don't play the waiting game. This is the era of prospecting. It's 2021. It's the era of social media. 2021 is about speed. I'm gonna to talk to you in this next little clip about how you can go and start marketing yourself. You work for an amazing company. You're great at what you do. It's time to let people know, but don't wait around. Okay guys, so let's talk about some prospecting ideas. I want you to think about this for a second. Social media is everything. All our customers do all day long is swipe up, swipe down. In the morning, after you walk your inventory, when you go in and you make your calls, you got a great attitude, you're ready to attack the day. Everyone else is going outside and they're gonna wait on that next customer to come in. Look, you know when your best hours are on the lot to go out and wait for an up. You don't wanna do that all day. And don't play idle sitting down at your desk. You need to prepare and plan your success. So how can you do that? Well, it's by generating your own customers. Here's some great ways for you to do it. I'd recommend by you starting your day every day by doing this. Number one, go and make a Facebook post. One Facebook post in front of you at your dealership just saying thank you for choosing us 
to do business with you. Our community has chosen us again to be the local dealer that takes care of them and gives them world-class customer service and serves them at the highest level. You can make this into a video or just a post and say thank you to your community. It's nothing, it's no individual sales pitch. You're not talking about a specific car, it's just Thank you. Just be creative, but make a special ad copy post. It needs to have a picture of you in front of your dealership. Secondly, Facebook Marketplace. This is where walking your inventory, I would recommend picking two nice cars. Maybe something on Trade Row, maybe something that's been on the inventory, but two nice pieces. It doesn't have to be an expensive car. It could be a $10,000 car. It could be a $50,000 car. Facebook Marketplace is free. There's a lot of in-market hot customers that are there looking to buy cars right now. Guess what? If you have inventory on your lot, you need to be posting there every day, two a day. This right here costs zero dollars to post in. It's just sweat equity. Go take the pictures yourself. Write a nice little ad, and guess what? That could be an easy sell that you have that day. Build the pipeline up. Don't be like everyone else waiting. Let me tell you about story post. This is gonna be on Facebook. So when you're looking at your Facebook, you're gonna see a little plus sign over in the corner, and it's gonna say story. And I'd recommend it to look something like this. Hey guys, what's up, it's Andy. Listen, so I got a 2011 BMW and X5 last night. It's got 83,000 miles, if I covered the odometer, you'd think it had 20,000 miles on it. Guys, these don't last. They never come in. Don't miss this. If you need a great second vehicle, a great first vehicle, or if you know somebody that needs a great SUV, have them text me 999-999-9999. Thank you so much. Reach out to me. Boom, 26 seconds. It goes in your story. See, when you do a Facebook post, everybody that's your friend doesn't get notified. But when you update your story, or when you post to your story, everybody does get notified that you posted to your story. So with that being said, make sure that you're putting video once a day, even multiple times through the day, about short little specials on pieces that you have. It will create and generate a lead. And now Facebook has something where you can actually share those short videos. So if they know somebody looking for it, they can easily share it. So let's finish with one last thing, Craigslist. Craigslist is hot. Yes, it costs $5 a post, but on hot and rare pieces, it does really well. Craigslist has a lot of older generation people on there that have bought and sold cars on there for 20 years. They haven't ever gone anywhere and they're normally not on Facebook. So they do search for Craigslist. I would recommend if you have a nice piece, maybe something that's a couple years old that has low miles or even a newer model that has high miles that would drive the price down. Those are great ad leader vehicles for Craigslist. Craigslist is very hot. These people can buy and a lot of them have great credit. So I would really highly recommend if you got a great piece, take the $5, do great ad copy, take nice pictures, post it on Craigslist. I think you'll be surprised. You'll sell a lot of cars. I know people right now around the area that sell 40 to 50 cars a month off of Craigslist and Facebook using their story. What's the difference between you and them? Nothing. But when you don't have anything working, you gotta set up your day. And always remember this. This isn't something you do once in a while. It's something you do all the time. Always set yourself up for success. You're always playing offense. We don't play any defense. A lot of people sit around and play the waiting game. Well, there's 60 minutes in an hour, and how you work 60 minutes in that hour is what matters. Okay guys, and we're gonna finish off right here. Service. Your service department is full of the best buyers in the world. These customers, they're bringing their cars into service. They're obviously buying whatever it is that you sell. They know your area, they know where you're at. A lot of them aren't just traveling through the area. They live locally in the area. Maybe they purchased from your company, maybe they haven't. But here's what I'll tell you. If you don't ever ask a question, it'll always be no. So you always wanna ask simple questions like this. Hey, how you doing? My name's Andy. I'm one of the sales associates right here in the company. I wanted to just walk by right now. We're trying our hardest to buy pre-owned inventory. We love it. We're giving more money than it's than it's ever even been allowed. Um, it's crazy. The market's insane. Let me ask you a question. If we gave you more money than what your car was worth, would you entertain selling it to us? No, I wouldn't. Thank you so much. I hope you have a great day in service. If there's anything I can do, this is my card. 
Um, I don't know, what's it worth? Well, that's a great question. What I'd like to do is actually give you a free appraisal on it. I'm actually one of the vehicle exchange coordinators. My job is to help customers actually exchange into other vehicles. What I'd like to do is actually get you a number on your vehicle and show you that we can get you more money than, the, than it's ever been worth. I would like to ask you a fast question. If you were going to replace it, what do you think that you would replace it with? Let's say I did give you more money and it was worth, what would you replace it with? Something brand new, something bigger, maybe something pre-owned with just less miles? What would it be? Guys, ask a couple questions. Your service to Department is a great area to work. It always has people in there. You can walk over at any time and shake someone's hand. Okay, guys, so listen, so as a top sales pro, you don't need to be babysat by your management, okay? Manage yourself, manage your time, time block your day. The night before, every night, before you go to work the next morning, write out your schedule for the next day. What priorities you have to take care of and what's important to you. Know what your day looks like the next morning before you even know what it looks like. Those that are truly prepared can go in, they don't sit around the coffee pot, talk about sports the, the day before, what happened that day on the news, they go in and they attack. So I want you to take my advice, go through, start with the great attitude, go through, fire yourself up, watch a great YouTube video, something that motivates you, really get your attitude in the right place, and then go in, make some calls, call your leads, do your inventory walk, make sure that you post on social media, make sure you post to all the platforms, get your name out there. If people don't know who you are, what you do, and where you're at, and how great you are about what you do, it's really hard for them to find you when they need you. And then go work your service department. And if you take care of that every single day, I will assure you, you will never leave the dealership without selling a vehicle.